A Dodge County family upset after their son was asked to change his new haircut before he would be allowed back into class. Sabrina Burris is in studio now to tell us why the parents say they want to get to the bottom of this. That's right, Frank. So the parents tell me their kindergartner and every other student in school should have the right to express themselves, especially if it's not harming anyone. Danny and Amber Howell say their son was excited to rock his new hairstyle Friday morning at school. They say Principal Cindy Screws and a teacher complimented his hair, but later told them he could not return to class at North Dodge Elementary School with the same hairstyle. We were obviously very frustrated when we found out when we got the call because this is a hairstyle that Blake really, really wanted. The school student handbook says, quote, students should not wear any hairstyle that would interrupt learning, such as blue, purple, or unnatural colored hair, or extreme mohawks. Well, it's a faux hawk. It's completely different. A mohawk, if a true one, would be at least three inches high and go from the back of their head to the front. Amber Howell says she feels like her child is being treated unfairly. And what is different with my child's hairstyle versus another one that might be two or three inches higher than his? The house say it's about more than just hair. It's an extension of his voice, of his feelings, of who he wants to be. And if you squash their dreams now, yeah. are they going to keep reaching for more later? They say they don't want their kids to feel like they have to fit into a box. This is what our soldiers fight and die for. And it's the least we can do to stand up and, and fight for our own individuality and expression for our children. school board members but did not get a response. The school district says Superintendent Michael Ward can't speak with us until Monday because of a training session. And back to you. All right, thanks, Sabrina. The parents say school board members told them to make an appointment with the superintendent before going to a school board meeting to try and resolve the issue.